it's kind of funny that the first album I talked about, there was an artist who was very strategically avoiding talking about anything real or saying anything controversial and trying to appeal to the broadest audience possible without offending anyone. And <laughs> now we're talking about No Name. Another music critique, another not review. No Name, Chicago rapper, in my opinion, has not missed. Not a single bad album to her name, not a single bad song to her name, not a single bad feature to her name. One of the best rappers out. Men, woman, child, she's the best, no qualifiers. I discovered No Name thanks to Chance the Rapper uh, on Surf. Telephone came out my uh, senior year of high school, I think, and I loved that album immediately. I loved that album so much. It's one of the best albums of the 2010s, easily. It was around it was around that time, 2016, Trump's election, when No Name started to get radicalized. And as her career has progressed, she's grown more and more radical about her beliefs concerning capitalism and colonialism. And she's never been one to hold her tongue. She's never been afraid to speak her mind and be very blunt and open with how she feels about the world. And it really made an impact on me and my political views. She has a new album. On this album, she's really stepped up her game. She's more dangerous than she's ever been. She is not taking any prisoners. She's not afraid of anybody. It feels as if she's coming to her own as an artist and she's really in like just at the beginning of her prime. Like she's going to do some really great things in the upcoming years. And Sundial really shows that. Sundial really shows an artist that is like confident. Black Mirror, beautiful way to open an album. The harmonies, the choir, it's very beautiful, but she's still talking about some real shit. And also, while talking about this real political dense shit, socialism and violence and oppressors, she's also talking about things that are really personal to her. That uh, stories about love, stories about, you know, what she likes to do, being happy, being positive, getting high. And a lot of rappers who say they're socially conscious, they sometimes forget to like open up. They forget to keep it personal. They forget to keep it specific. They forget both the broad and the specific can go together very well, and they should go together. The end of capitalism can be just as important as, you know, smoking blunts with your friends, you know? Smoking weed with your friends. Hold me down. So, man, oh, this song. She's, she really is coming for people's necks. Like, she does not care like does not care. I remember hearing the Obama line live and the entire audience was like, holy shit, did she just say that? Like she's not hiding behind metaphor or poetry. She is up front saying that shit and that's really exciting. And while she's being like really political, she's not being corny. She's not being corny at all. She does not feel self-righteous. She does not feel like she's being condescending at all. It feels like she's motivated. It feels like this. she's saying shit with her chest. And while she's saying all these like really dangerous, really controversial things, it's a beautiful ass song with a beautiful ass choir just singing with her. And like, it's like really bubbly and light and poppy and fun. Number one, I find anti-Semitism abhorrent. Also, uh, Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam. I'm not a fan. You want to know why? Read the autobiography of Malcolm X. I can admit, they've done some good, you know, but they've done some bad, too. I'm, I'm not going to tell anyone how to feel about anything. You can be angry at No Name. You can be offended by No Name. You can be like, fuck No Name. I'm not listening to her anymore because she put Jay Electronica on this. You can feel however you want to feel. It's too bad that such a great song is tainted now it's it's legacy is tainted it's weird no matter how you feel no matter what side of the fence you're on it's if it, it's strange and it's a good song it's a really really good song probably my favorite on the album but it's just jay electronica makes it weird ayani ayani 
I have no idea how you say her name, but I'm a fan. I like her a lot. She's very talented. It's really great that No Name can be bawdy and dirty and nasty and talk about sex and talk about getting her back blown out while simultaneously talking about, you know, the wonders of socialism. That's, I support. I'm a fan. Uh, potentially the interlude. This is the most angry I've heard No Name, you know, ever. It's, it's exciting and she name checks Kendrick Lamar and like how she constantly is getting compared. It's interesting, last year with Mr. Morale and this year No Name with Sundial, these two artists who have been kind of deemed the socially conscious rappers, socially conscious artists of their generation, and they both have made albums basically rejecting that moniker. I'm not supposed to save you, I'm not supposed to teach you. I'm trying to be a human being, you're trying to make me into like this Huey P. Newton savior activist figure, that's not me. Namesake. I got to see her live a couple weeks ago in New York for free. Shouts out Mike. Hearing this live for the first time was insane because when she just started name checking people, the entire audience is like, whoa. She's really like doing this right now. That she's saying these motherfuckers by name. She's calling them out. She's calling herself out. In the past, most of her really radical views would be couched in a very deep, very layered metaphor, very artfully constructed. But she's just very bluntly, very plainly, very honestly saying it. And that's like. That was so exciting to hear for the first time live. Beauty Supply, a very nice, sweet song with a message of hope and kindness and beauty at the heart of it. And, and this in combination with the song that came right before it where she's just like connects and being like really outwardly political. A little bit of your medicine and a little bit of candy, you feel me? Toxic. No Name, No Name's really good at being on theme, you know? She's good at introducing an idea at the beginning of a song and then weaving that idea throughout the fabric of the rest of the song, and that's a really difficult thing to do. Take it from someone who's trying to learn how to rap, that's impressive that she can do that and make it look so easy and make it sound so good and not make it obvious, you know? Afrofuturism. Another example of No Name doing a really good job of staying on theme. She doesn't come out and say like straight up, like this song's about police brutality and colonialism. She messes with you, you know? She messes with your head by throwing all these very dense, very unconventional metaphors at you. And you have to figure it out for yourself. You have to figure out what this fucking song is about. Gospel. Last week I talked about Travis Scott being a, a great curator, a great director of artists. And let's give No Name her props. I never even thought about the possibility of her collaborating with someone like Billy Woods. Listen to More Mother and Arm and & Hammer and the stuff he does with Alchemist. It ain't, it ain't easy. <laughs> it's not like sweet, very melodic, very sunny music. It's scaring the hoes music. And he fits great in this album. He fits well, him and Silk Money. Silk Money is like more trap music, more like heavy bass type stuff. And he sounds great with No Name sound. He fits really well. And that's a testament to No Name and her artistry. Oblivion. I can't believe I didn't see this earlier. Like I, I love Common and I'm, I listen to a lot of his music. I never made the link between Common and No Name, but looking at it now, listening to this album, listening to this song, it should have been so obvious to me earlier. Like, No Name is really influenced by Common, and hearing them together on the same track, like, they sound so similarly, and I didn't even, I can't believe I never picked up on that until now. In conclusion, in conclusion, in con collusion. I really think this is just the beginning for No Name. Like, this is the beginning of her prime. This album, I think, is the beginning of a great run. And I don't just mean music. What she's doing with her library, I think she's gonna do something more, and I'm really excited to see what she does. She's gonna, like, make a bunch of great albums, of course. She's gonna make more great albums. But she's gonna do something, like, special.
Not a lot of jokes in this one. Here's a funny noise. Strike.